What up, Internet? It's your boy Mark T from that Mark and Rob TV. What's up, Internet? It's your boy Rob T from that Mark and Rob TV. What's up, YouTubers? If y'all hadn't subscribed, we would love for y'all to subscribe. Check us oh, out, man. Rob Check us out, man. Man, what's up, YouTube fam? I'm, I'm feeling like these people starting to be a family or something, man. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely, man. man. We're getting this, this huge outpouring of support. All these messages, all these comments, it's starting to get crazy, man. Starting to get crazy, but we appreciate it. Appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all. All these new subscribers, we got like 1,400 subscribers now. Man, we're almost at that, we, 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 we're going to hit that 2,000 soon, hopefully, Please man. Soon, man. Yeah, man, just keep su su subscribing. Keep uh, supporting, man. Keep checking out your boys, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. We appreciate it, man. And if we don't get a chance to um, to send everybody a message when they subscribe or something, you know them subscribers be floating around and stuff, man. We appreciate y'all. We're telling that, you now, man. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for stopping by, man. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to talk about... Um, Oh, Oprah for a minute, man. In the last week or so, Oprah done had like three or four good shows, man. Oh, yeah, man. She <laughs> had that uh, 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 <clears throat> Whitney Houston, for sure. Whitney Houston. Then she backed over with uh, Mackenzie Phillips. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then Jay-Z today, man. Yeah, um, man. Man, you know, I remember Oprah back in the day, man. Uh, them shows are... Uh, you win a car and uh, oh. you want a camera and uh, we gonna all go to Disney World, but it seems like she's doing a little something different oh, yeah, right man. now. Man. That's probably like the last time I watched Oprah. I haven't watched Oprah that, that much in a long time. Maybe them producers like, uh, you gotta come with some better shows. We gotta have some better subjects, more than just just stuff for like housewives or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, but uh, man, that, that interview, the other day with Mackenzie Phillips, they was going hard on that, man. Hmm. They was going hard, man. This child actress, I know y'all probably might not, I don't know if y'all know or not, but she's from the, um, she, from an old, old show, uh, I think it's called One Day at a Time. Yeah, but she was a child actress and her dad was from the Mamas and the Papas. And I, I'm going to admit it, man, I have a greatest hit Mamas and Papas CD. Uh, it, they, they go hard. She was saying some stuff on that interview that was that was that was buck wild, man. And you know what? The thing about it is, if you don't know a person, you really don't know what they go through until they actually say what they go through. I had no idea that she went through the things that she did, man. Yeah, it, I guess it's it's a part of like living that rock and roll lifestyle. And I'm not talking about the the incest part. Well, on Oprah, she had admitted that uh, her and dad, her dad was intimate and all this stuff for, uh, for, allegedly. For, allegedly for ten years, man. Hmm. So I, I mean, they was they, that's going off. She have a new book out now. I don't know the name of it, but uh, man, that was it, it. Seemed like it's the way she explained it. It was a whole lot of dysfunction growing up with her, man. She the drug use and. Uh, 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 promiscuous and all this kind of stuff. It was going down, man. And you know what? Uh, a child brought up in a dysfunctional uh, family or so, if the child does not make a conscious effort to break that cycle, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, it's going it, to... It's going to continue and going to continue and continue and continue until that child or that person makes a conscious effort and say to themselves, I'm going to break the cycle. I'm going to try to do something different. I want something different for my family. Yeah, that's true, man. I try to um, instill this stuff. And one of my little girls is too young. She's, she's a baby, still a baby. But my other daughter, she's a little bit older. And I try, man, I try my best to be there as a father, man. I try to be there as a parent. I try to try to be there. I try to teach her. I try to instill values in her. And, and and all this stuff because if you don't at these critical pivotal years man they gonna be out of control man oh, definitely definitely you know what man uh, when a parent tells a child something they listen they listen I mean whether it's good advice or bad advice they listen because it's the parents but another thing is is that child is listening and paying attention when the parent is not saying anything. Oh, yeah, you they're watching. You, you don't even have to say nothing. They look at you 
uh, and they do the same thing. They 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 imitate you. They they mimic you. They do all this stuff. So I mean, you do this stuff around your kids. You smoke around your you smoke around your kids. When they go to school, what they gonna do? You drink around your kids. When they out with their friends, what they gonna do? I mean, you 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 gotta be a good role model in and out, man. And I know so many people that's I know so many people that's that's that's. I don't like to use the word messed up, but I know some people personally that's just, I mean, they didn't have a good foundation when they were coming up. The the uh, For some reason, the, I don't know if they was missing something, but they just, it's like their life is in shambles, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Mackenzie Phillips is 49 years old. 49. 49 years old, and the things that happened to her when she was a child, they still with her. They still with They will. still there, and it's not going to go anywhere. Yep, until she deal with them issues, man. Oh, yeah. It was, that's a that's a tough case, man, but you just got to, you got to, man, I think, if I'm not mistaken, man, the mamas and the papas, her, uh, allegedly her dad and the other guy that's in the group, I forgot the name, of, I forgot his name, but, um, they had a big breakup because both of them was trying to uh, talk to the same lady. Huh. So that dysfunction, man, is crazy. It's out of control. It's out of control, man. And uh, uh, Oprah had that boy Jay Z on there today, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jay Z yeah. was in the house. Boy, that boy filthy rich, man. Hmm. That boy is a billionaire, man. Uh, Jay Z just went to another level, man. Uh, Oprah has said. <clears throat> That she was not gonna have rappers on her show. I don't know why she said that. Uh, that's why I try not to use always and never, cause you never know what you're gonna oh, yeah, what yeah, you're gonna have yeah, to do yeah. or what you're gonna have to take back or who you're gonna have to go to. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> but uh, Oprah had that boy Jay Z had Jay Z on on Oprah. He he was on the show today. What you think about it, man? Man, Jay Z, man. <laughs> Jay-Z, he's doing some big things, man. And uh, the thing that I didn't know about Jay-Z was that his father wasn't present in his life. Mm -hmm. And uh, by listening to him, that really had a big impact on his life. I mean, he, he said that he didn't actually want anybody to get close to him because of uh, the presence that he was missing with his father. Oh yeah, building up them walls. Oh man. yeah, yeah. And um, that, that affects every part of your life, man. And yeah, that that those two stories were kind of connected. Um, he said uh, his father left, and I, I think it's a difference between your father leaving or your parent leaving, and not having no contact with the kid or. Unfortunately, if you have a, 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 a split up, a divorce, or something like that, I mean, if you have some kind of contact and, and give some kind of love and nurturing to your kid, it makes a difference. It's, it's different than just leaving, you know, oh, yeah, and not yeah. having no contact. But that boy, Jay-Z, man, I, I just want to give shouts out to him, man. He's doing good. He's global this time, man. Yeah. Look like he took a note from his wife, man. Beyonce say, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this. No, nah, I'm just joking. But, uh, I mean, he getting out there, man. And I saw a whole bunch of, he been out there like this time, like never before, man. Yeah, yeah. So, um, the interview was good, man. And Oprah been good the last few weeks, man. Uh, I hope she keep it up, man, because I, I didn't really watch Oprah, man. Oh, yeah. You know, and even in H Town, man, her and Tyra is like they come on at the same time. And I don't I don't normally watch TV in the um in the daytime like oh, yeah. this. But uh, you know, they be promoted on YouTube. Jay Z gonna be on here, Whitney Houston gonna be on here, so I check it out, man. But uh, the show was good. That Real boy Jay Z, uh, big ups to him. He's doing big things. He at the top of his game. Oh, yeah. He made Oprah take back what she said, man. But just shouts out to everybody, man. And uh, I just want to know, man, what y'all think about the Mackenzie Phillips stuff, man? Have y'all heard that story? What y'all think about that, man? What y'all think about Jay Z? Uh, the disconnect that he had with his father. Yeah. I, and that as far as that affecting him as a person. Yeah, what y'all think about the interview with Jay Z and uh how y'all y'all been feeling Oprah this year, man? She's been coming out strong, man. 
And uh, oh yeah, I said that mamas and the papas. I have uh, a, a CD of uh, greatest hits of the mamas and the papas. I, I listen to all kind of music, man. Y'all have any CDs that y'all y'all kind of keeping quiet? Y'all don't want nobody to know that y'all listening to. Holler at your boys, man. Peace. We out.